mean. Let's mm -hmm. move on to the next interesting story. Let's talk about Eve Bungai because this girl said, y'all need to stop talking what? about me over there at Abri TV. But guess what, baby girl? Yeah. We're talking about you. We're not talking about you. Babies. We're talking about you. <laughs> it's not us. You. you give us the tea. <laughs> Imagine it's not us. She's always the one giving us the tea. And mm -hmm. in this case particularly, let's talk about the fact that Eve Mungai was conducting an interview wherein somehow it ended up becoming a conversation about her in such a way that she's talking about the fact that the relationship that she's in now, she's so happy in her relationship and she feels like it's going to go somewhere. She went so far as to say that she thinks that this relationship is going to be the one where they can pay dowry. Like the man can pay for the dowry. And, and the guys are like, oh, clapping, clapping. And then she's like, see, Jama Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, okay, girl. Let's see, Jama Lisa, can you last time? And then she proceeded to Ongeze by saying, "I lengi ne, I was in. You love that we manya ninge ji tolea, ninge ji rasheria." I was like, "Girl, did you have to do? Like, did you have? Do you know the end, the sentence would have ended at, 'Yeah, I'm in a happy relationship. The one that I'm in, it feels like it's forever. You know, lali atani dowry. You know, to ta pp na popo na tu lululu. But like having to throw director Trevor into the mix is such a, a, a low low I don't even know what it is it just feels like and this is the problem because like every time she talks about literally anything about her life and her progress now it always feels like it's in direct comparison to but like if I was with and mm. if I were it's almost a combination of like a love-hate relationship sort of because you're like always referring to this person unnecessarily like the t-shirt with my ex is my biggest fan what was that everything about her feels like it's it's it always goes back to but trevor but mm. trevor but trevor and maybe it's a way of keeping us talking about her and her shows and whatever maybe it's just a tactic of making sure that we're always getting a, just enough uh bile so that we're able to see like what is she gonna say next what is she gonna say next in this next interview but at the same time it just feels like i think there's a level of um, love there that's still there. Most people who talk about the exes like this is because, I don't know, you're, you're still a little, it's like a competition. Why are you competing with your, <laughs> with your ex? He seems happy. He's moved on. He has his new partner. You should also just move on and be happy. I, I don't know, know why we keep referring to it. Trevor. Let him be. Let you be. Do your thing, girl. But anyway, maybe I'm just uh, grasping at straws. She said she is happy. She said she can see marriage in the future. So I'll take it for what it is. Again, I'll say this. There's just something that happens when the cameras start recording <laughs> and you kind of forget yourself. And and it's not just mm. her. It has happened to many A people. A lot of people. Me included. The camera goes red, go, recording. And there's just that feeling that I need to show up and show out. I need to grab and garner attention. But you know what? It's very unnecessary the way you threw him under the bus. Yeah. She, she tried to salvage the situation by saying, no, I didn't say he, he couldn't afford it. It's just that we used to make money together. So kind of, sort of, if he was to pay dowry, you know, I knew all the money and where all the money is and how much it is. So if he was to pay dowry, I would be knowing where it's coming from. Like they had joint accounts or something. So she was like, it would have been I'm paying for dowry. And... <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the case right now. Uh, the person she's dating now, she kind of feels like, you know, even he, if he paid dowry, he'd be like, yeah, that's my man, my man, my man. Okay, he went out there, Kajipanga Bizuri, and here he is. And I'm happy that she is in a happy relationship. Just don't throw your ex under the bus. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it was so unnecessary. That, that was such an unnecessary snipe. But I get it. Me, if you did me dirty, I will throw But do we know that he did her dirty? That's the problem. Like, if only care. they came up and told us the tea, like, properly. Mm -hmm. Instead of this, you know, sub subliminal messaging. Can you mm. just give us the tea, tea? Like, what happened? The Where tea you is guys? not fun. These subliminal messages was <laughs> in a bamba, okay? I mean, that's that's the ones I like. I want fresh I will points. throw subliminals until you want. I want you to be analyzed the way guys are analyzing P Diddy. <laughs> like I want receipts from two thousand and <laughs> like it too. Nah, nah. I wanna follow it. I have a t ten part series on TikTok explaining how I, I broke up with my with my director ex and this is the story. Give me the tea. Well, you know, like after that, you know like those story times yeah. was in Asia relevance very quickly. You know like, yeah, but like um, 10 part series in Asia. but now if you're throwing subliminals 
every two months naangusha hii no, every three months atajua. na wa keep guessing alafu <laughs> nikiona mna shift attention nikiti nasema at 4 pm i'm telling you the truth you ha we would you game ulikuja town juice clearly mchezo ya town this is what we do in nairobi okay, we, okay. the same way like with ikane uh, and chris you know how she's always good and flourishing and independent and then at the end of the month every end of the month she usually has a fight with her baby daddy and i'm just like how to wire chao mtu you know <laughs> it's the views on, t the, it's on the youtube views. <laughs> the <tip> -tip views. <laughs>